Hi, my name is Roy, and welcome to my channel, Sacred Wildman. The purpose and intent of this channel is to create content to support men, specifically in helping them end their own internal oppression so that they may fully offer their gift to the world. The kind of content that I intend to generate will mostly be along the lines of teaching, as well as some um, practices, embodied practices, as well as podcast content in the future. And if you want to learn more about the work that I do specifically, you can visit my website, www.sacredwildman.com. I'll have a link in the description as well. And you can learn more about me and the work that I do. And the reason why I do this work is, I imagine, as any person in the helping profession, specifically therapy or any therapeutic profession, is that it's highly personal. So the work around helping men end their internal oppression is something that I've gone through and continue to go through. Uh, it's an ever unfolding journey. And it's something that I believe is really needed out there. Um, in our day and age, I feel so many men are really isolated and we still are kind of navigating the currents of what does it mean to be a man? What does that mean to each individual person? to culture and how do we kind of move through the stages of development and so that's something that I intend to help guide men in the content that I create here as, uh, as I also go through that myself I'm continually learning and so the content that I put out is mostly going to be theoretical and influenced by stories um, culture, traditions, rituals, um, none of it is scientific by any means. And I think that's one of the areas where therapy gets a lot of flack, uh, is that, you know, you can't scientifically prove this, you know, show me the numbers, show me the data. And that's not something we can do. Uh, it's something that is just seems to be part of our DNA. You know, there's something about stories, folk tales and myths that we're just attracted to. You know, that's why people go see movies, is that they're not going to a movie to a scientific to experience something scientific of like, oh, you know, now I understand what it means to be a man. It's like you go there to experience emotion, to see yourself through the lens of somebody else telling a story. And when you relate, something resonates. And that's a powerful experience that I imagine you have experienced at least once in your life, be it through a TV show, a movie, a book, things along those lines. So the initial trigger for creating this channel was um, the pandemic situation that we're in. Um, I've been through a lot of ups and downs throughout this, um, just considering all the, the fears, the uncertainty that has cropped up and as I've settled, I have been meditating on death pretty much daily. And one of the questions I ask myself is, if I were to die today, or if I were to die in 2020, um, what would I regret not having done? And one of the big things that came up for me is, I would regret not having offered my gift to the world. I would regret not having had more fun and doing and creating things that I want to create. And so, kind of a opportune time to do this, um, strangely, I think there's always opportunity in any sort of crisis. It just depends um, how you wanna look at it. And so I'm choosing to look at it through the perspective of opportunity, even as there are a lot of difficulties that are coming up. And this is quickly accelerating um, more than what I expected, uh, faster than the pace that I would have preferred to go that would have felt comfortable. And so I'm taking this opportunity as a push to work with my subconscious resistance, any blocks that come up, ego, and any stories that I tell myself why I can't do this, why I shouldn't do this. Um, there's something about vulnerability of being in front of a camera um, and being seen by other people that strangely feels even a little bit more intimidating than public speaking. Um, I think with public speaking, there's a degree of 
nervousness that I get that I'm able to transmute into excitement. Whereas being in front of camera and being seen by people that I have never met before um, and out of physical distance is a whole different dynamic. As for what you can expect for this channel, initially my uploads will be a little bit sporadic as I try to find a rhythm um, and as well as be more disciplined in distilling down any inspiration that I have um, so I can begin rolling out content in a more consistent fashion, be it once a month, every other month, once a week or every other week. It's something that I want to build in as a rhythm for myself as well as for my viewers. And as I mentioned earlier, most of the content is going to be along the lines of teaching, some embodied practices, as well as podcast content, and perhaps other things as well, uh, as I find inspiration. If you have any specific topics that you would be curious for me to address, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I just love to hear some ideas that men out there have uh, that they've always wondered about um, and would like to see addressed. And again, this won't be therapy, um, but more so therapeutic kind of coaching content that you can take on your own. Um, go into your own introspection, um, perhaps work with a therapist or coach near you or somebody who does uh, online coaching. And if you are curious about resources that can support you in this time um, and recommend you take a look at the resources page on my website. I have a list of books and men's organizations out there that's just going to continue to keep growing as I um, learn about other organizations out there and do more reading and put up those little summaries of the books on my website. And if you want to stay in touch further, um, get access to content that will be specifically like a special offer to um, subscribers. On my homepage, you'll find at the bottom, there's a newsletter subscription list. So you put in your name and your email and you will be the first to know of any blog content that I put out or YouTube videos, podcasts, as well as any special offerings, uh, be that online workshops, Q and A's, um, or certain practices that you can take uh, and practice on your own. I look forward to going on this journey with all of you, seeing myself develop, and hoping to hear stories of other men out there who are developing on their own. And with that, thank you, and I'll leave you with a statement on my webpage.